So one of my new favorite uh, instructional tools is creating GIFs. Um, GIFs are a great way to uh, show information to students really quick and easy. It's just an animated picture. So a super easy way to make a GIF is we can use this GIFit extension. Uh, here I am in the Chrome Web Store. Uh, you can see I've found GIFit. I've added it to a Chrome. It actually adds a little extension. This is it right here. The extension there isn't what you use to make the GIF. What you actually do is you go to YouTube. So here you can ha see I already have my YouTube video opened up. Um, this is one of my favorite kind of YouTube channels, the Minute Physics. Really cool things. But see, there's a little part in here. If I kind of look, they actually are explaining how teleportation could work. Uh, so he talks about two different methods. So maybe I want to make a little GIF that just shows me the teleportation methods. All right, so it goes from about two seconds to, I think, about 34 seconds. And it's important that you understand how long um, the time span is because that's what you're going to do to create a GIF. So what you'll notice is right here, because I've installed that extension, there's a new option in YouTube, and I can see the GIF it. If I click it, it says, where's my start and where's my end? So I could say start at two seconds, and maybe I end at 34. Uh, you can change the width and height. This is important if you're a, a teacher who's really into their web design uh, and want a, a GIF that fits a certain size uh, or quality, you can change it. You can also change the frame rate if you want a higher quality or lower quality. Uh, most, for, uh, most of us, we're not too concerned. We just want to make a super easy GIF. All right, so if I click GIF it, it's actually going through and it's taking a basically a picture of each little frame of the video segment I wanted. So I can see it kind of going and you can actually see it playing in the background. It's kind of a good chance for you to proofread uh, what the GIF is going to look like. So as that's going, one thing I'll say, personally, I like to call it GIF, but I knew if people are watching this, they're gonna to wanna to say it's GIF. And my wife, who's a reading specialist, she always yells at me when I don't call it the right thing. So I can see here, I can see it's doing a little preview of the GIF. I can click Save GIF. It's gonna ask where do I want to save it? So I will save it right in here. Uh, let's say uh, uh, teleportation, something like that, right? I'll hit save. And now if I click it, my little GIF is going to open up. And then I could do this with a variety of different things. I could use that GIF, um, for my classroom, I could do it um, all kinds of different purposes. Oh, I'm on my Mac, so it kind of open funky. Oh, I can see actually the breakdown here. In the little map preview, it never actually previews right. I'm sure there's a better way of doing that. If one of my Mac aficionados want to tell me how to do it, I would love it. But I could take this GIF and I could add it to my Google Classroom. Uh, I could add it to a Google Doc. I can do a lot of different things. You know what? In fact, let's just do it. Let's have some fun. Docs.google.com slash create. So I get a nice new Google Doc. If I come in here, then I can hit insert. When it finishes loading, I have way too many extensions. It always bogs down my, uh, my Google Doc here. Do, 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 insert image. And let's choose an image to upload. We'll pick this little teleportation guy. Here it comes. And there's my little GIF. So you can see it going. So this thing how cool it would be is if you have a Google Doc, you can create your own little GIF, a part of a video. So students can just kind of look through here and they could kind of see that video within a Google Doc without actually having to go to YouTube to get it. So hopefully you find that kind of a cool tool. I really dig it. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.